In our previous video with the Azure DevOps pipeline configuration with Terraform, we have seen that the pipeline was configured successfully. We are we were able to run the Terraform plan and it was successfully able to deploy the changes. But what about the section wherein we would like to have the approval gates in place as a reviewer? We would like to pause the deployment until unless reviewer reviews the changes and he confirms or, or approves the changes to deploy to the environment. That is something we haven't configured in our previous video. Now, in this video, we'll configure the approval gates or the review based process with the pipeline. So, for that, what you can do is you can configure the environments with the deployment uh, with your pipeline so you can go here on the second menu item under the pipeline so if i expand it here you have the environments here so you can configure the environment environments are nothing just the approval act as an approval gate in this case so let's call it as a dev deployment for example i'll keep this resource type as no or none and here you can add the additional resource if you would like to attach any resources to your environments or if you want to set up a approval you can click here on these three dots more actions and you can click here on the approvals with that approval you can specify the different users or active directory users or groups or the other devops users or groups whichever you have configured click here on the create and that will you know have the environment with approvals in place now you can go to the pipelines and refer that environments as is i'll go to the existing pipeline which we have configured in, in our last demonstration so if i just open our last discussion we have two stages here stage one for terraform plan which has a couple of steps to generate the plan and publish the plan and then we have the step stages to apply the terraform changes or deploy the terraform changes and each of this stage has the job so within the job collection at the moment we are using just a job so you can see that within the job collection you have the job but if i just open this as the you so you can see that with the job you have two different type of job available one is the normal standard job which in which you can define your steps or then you have the deployment job so as we know that this terraform apply type of stage has a job it is a deployment step right or deployment stage so these any job which we are configuring it here we need to have at least one deployment job deployment kind of a job so that's why we need to specify the jobs as the deployment so i'm going to change this as this job is the deployment so we'll simply remove this and within the deployment job you do have certain properties which you can specify for example with the strategy can specify what would be your strategy for the deployment we can simply go here and get the details get the details about this deployment job which you can specify with that you can use the environments so here is my environment which we have used so what was the name of the environment dev deploy something like that and now here we can define the strategy rolling deployment kind of a blue green deployment or we just want to deploy once so we can set up those deployments so i would like to deploy once and then we can have a deploy section and then we can define the steps here something like that so we'll simply just include these steps and i'll arrange the indentation there you go so now with that we have set up this job type 
as the deployment job. We have configured the environment and then with the deployment, we have defined the deployment strategy. We would like to run once or do we want to have the canary deployment? So, or, and then we can define the subsequent steps here. Now, if I check in this source code and commit it, I should have the approval gate in place. So have a look at now. So now you can see that it says that zero out of one check pass. So if I click here on the check, it says that on this particular environment, it is waiting for this user to approve or reject. So I can make a decision and approve or reject the pipeline and that will basically go ahead and deploy. So this is how you can set up your pipeline with the approval gates in place using the environment pipeline environment configuration. I hope you have found this useful. If it is, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.